More than half a million dollars in jewelry stolen from a local woman. The culprit, someone she trusted for years inside her home. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez joins us live now at the Johnson County Courthouse with more in Olathe. Andres. Mike, we're talking about some pricey jewelry here, including a $79,000 gold diamond ring that was pawned off for a few hundred bucks. The victim in this case told me that she at one point considered the suspect part of her family. This is the woman that for nearly a decade, Mary Ann Gerber trusted with her home and valuables. But now Sabina Garcia Rivera is accused of stealing and pawning off some of Gerber's expensive jewelry. She needs to be held accountable. Gerber first met Garcia Rivera at her local gas station. She and one of the little girls that worked there cleaned part time. So they would come every other week on Tuesdays. That turned into a full time job for Garcia Rivera. Gerber gave her a salary, health benefits and even a holiday bonus. After a recent home renovation, the 65 year old business owner noticed that some of her jewelry, including heirlooms, were gone. Some more expensive pieces came up missing. Uh, one was a horseshoe necklace and I knew where it was, but I thought, well, maybe I moved it and put it somewhere. But on November 27th, Gerber caught Garcia Rivera red handed. Came down the hall and her hand was in my purse. So then I questioned. And she called police. During the course of their investigation, they discovered 44 pieces of jewelry worth more than $580,000 were stolen. So why she did something like this, I don't understand. Some of the pieces, like this Rolex valued at $37,500, were pawned for $350. Her excuse was she needed to pay her rent, but I would have helped her in any way. I always helped her. Johnson County Sheriff deputies arrested Garcia Rivera Friday morning. She didn't say much in court, nor did her relatives. No comments at this time. And now Garcia Rivera did post her bond and was released from jail about an hour ago. She'll be under house arrest until her next court date. Reporting live in Olathe tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.